Hello, this is Mike of Neil Enough Dice. This is the Kerbal Space Program. Today, I have a hoverbot. Uh, basically, there's been a thing going around um, the Kerbal Space Program Reddits um, to do with automatically adjusting uh, landing gear for slopes. So, very simple, they're using KOS and Infernal Robotics. And Infernal Robotics, as you are probably well aware, is my current obsession. Uh, so, what I've got here is a simple hoverbot. It's got landing legs, and the landing legs are on rails, these gantry rails. I've used tweak scale to make them small instead of ginormous. So, there they are, they're nice and small. Um, Going to open up not one but two terminals. Because I've currently got the two elements of this separated into two separate programs. Oop, can't spell switch. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So I've got one that will balance the legs by paying attention to the height of the terrain underneath each foot. Now I'm not using, I think uh, other versions of this I've seen use um, another mod for uh, basically laser rangefinders. Um, so you'd stick a, a, laser, a laser rangefinder on the ship somewhere, it would look straight down and see what the, the distance is. But you can actually do this in raw KOS because you have access to um, the latitude and longitude of any point on the ship. If I give a point in ship coordinates, I can work out the terrain height underneath that point. Uh, the only fiddly bit then was working out the terrain height of the foot, because by by definition, the the position of the foot, the actual, if, if I ask this landing strut, where it is, it's going to say it lives up here, which is the, the top of the leg. That is its origin point. Uh, what I needed to find out was in, in its coordinates, because it's got a facing vector, just like uh, this ship has a facing vector, which is straight up. This leg has a, a, has a facing vector, which means it's got a forward, a top, and a starboard. And I have to work out where its foot was in those coordinates, that way I can continuously go from where this point is to where the foot is um, and know where I am. Um, I had a version with, with arrows which I should possibly put back together to make it a bit more obvious. Uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run leg balance and it won't do much. It's just printing out some stuff. And I'm going to run hover. And there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to find um, a, a place that I know has a really slopey um, area, which is basically off the edge of this runway, right? As you go off the edge of, the, well, the crawl away, I should say, the edge of it has got a pretty severe slope. So as I come to you over this area, you should see these legs start to, to, to change as it stops being flat. And so there you go, there they are adjusting each other, adjusting themselves. So if I stop, Stop somewhere. So it's, it's easier to right point that way. It's easier to stop if I know which way I'm. Come on. Right, I've, I've, I've managed to go over the back to the flat bit. Right, let's edge ourselves into. That's 
that's pretty good. Let's lower. Let's go down. And we'll just turn off the engines. But as you can see, that's a pretty severe slope. And you can see the nav ball is pointing straight up. So um, the legs have automatically adjusted themselves to to deal with what would be a pretty severe slope. Um, I can bring up the actual infernal robotics thing by using leg heights and say like forcing them to go to their their normal set point. Uh, you can see exactly what kind of a slope that would would cause. If I let that go. The, the program will take back over and will set things back. That's kind of pleasing. I like that. I think as well, that works quite nicely. Um, if I run hover again, there's another thing I can do because uh, I haven't just um, I've also made the legs uh, I haven't just made them go up and down, they can go in and out. So that way this should be able to cope with really quite severe um, things. <laughs> what am I trying to say? Um, it should be able to cope with really quite severe slopes. Um, that's interesting. So the the problem would would, would be when um, let's go down. Can I go down? And turn off again. So so in theory, uh, so long as. These, this doesn't go all the way any further than it is, or yeah, that goes down to its lowest extent, and that is still up at its highest extent. I can go for any kind of slope. Oh, it's not liking that. It's fighting because the, the, the program's trying to fight it back. But um, you can see what kind of slope I, c I would have to deal with. And so not only is it able to, um, you know, not fall over, I can actually make it turn absolutely upright. Um, so that should mean that if I get even more slopier, I should still be able to land. It's just that, you know, you can imagine if I had a really high slope, such that even when this is right down at its bottom extent, um, And and this is way up at you know, way up at, at its highest, um, with a nice long you know because I've, I've extended out the the width. It's as, it's as far as it can go. I think. I don't think it goes. Yeah, it doesn't go any further. Um, I now have a, an adjustable uh, thing, and. Yeah, so it'll this something like this should more or less be able to land. Oh, uh, we'll get around. And I can, I can. What I, what I like is I can turn around, and the legs will will cheerfully, go, go for me, will cheerfully adjust. I think I think I need to put in an actual check to see if any of the legs um, are at their maximum or minimum extent, because I would then want to adjust everything, or well, more actually beyond their minimum, or where where the program wants them to go is beyond their minimum extent, 
or beyond their maximum extent. Um, because if that happens, obviously, um, it would be, yeah, that's going to be a problem. But I might, I might have a situation here where, you know, there's a leg that's got some room to expand. Um, so at that point, you kind of move everything down. So there's, there's some fiddling to be done. But broadly, also the other, the other problem is it is absolutely, uh, it makes the assumption there are exactly three legs that everything is named very specifically um, in the VAB. Um, it also assumes that they're on specifically this type of gantry. Well, actually, no, it doesn't really, no, nothing about it, it doesn't really, they're just whatever, whatever is dealing with up and down needs to be um, named very specifically, otherwise it won't work. Uh, and more importantly, I don't have any uh, type of anything. Uh, I don't have the facility to deal with different numbers of legs other than three. Um, so if I've got six legs, I don't know, no, you know, nothing works. If I've got four legs, nothing works. Only if I've got exactly three. I have some thoughts on how to do that. Um, because for things like very tall um, structures, uh, like my mining bases, my mining bases are very tall because you've got, you've got to have the mining thing itself. You've got to have whatever fuel it is to get it down. You've got to have the ISRU to actually the thing to actually mine a tank to tanks to mine stuff into, and then then the converter and then tanks to hold whatever you're converting, and that can end up being a really big stack, um, and obviously with a with a very high um, center of gravity you want to be as as vertical as possible, so something like this on a mining outpost would be brilliant because. I wouldn't need to be so picky about my landing sites. I'd be able to um, go to all sorts of places. That's interesting. I didn't think I could go into. I'm not sure what the the. Um, I'm looking. So I'm looking at the leg heights here, and I think I think there's something weird going on here. Because uh, one of them's gone to negative 0 0.82, one of them's gone to 1, and I'm not sure I can go to 1. So what's possibly happening is that it's um, being moved beyond its ability. You know, it actually can't go that low. But uh, the program is telling it to go that low, and it doesn't really know what to do about it. And I don't seem to be able to get the information based off... What I would like to do right now is sort of ask it. Yeah, what's, what's your minimum, what's your maximum extends here? Oh no, it's, uh, it's interesting. Uh, it goes from 1 to minus, uh, to minus 0 0.18. That is interesting, that is not information I had. Um, so I've got one here jammed at... Uh, I might have to go back into the... Um, I don't see why that's not at minus one. Yeah, there we go. So now I've got one jammed at one, one jammed at minus one. So in fact, what is almost certainly would mean that, that if I landed here, um, I would in fact not be, um, I wouldn't be fully upright. Let's go down, let's, let's find out. Let's go down. Yeah. So as you can see, that this slope is too extreme to go fully upright. So I'm not quite right, but I'm pretty good, and I'm certainly stable, which I might not be um, if I let's just turn that off completely.
So if I just set the legs to normal, you can actually see that it's beginning to slip. And so that's, I mean, I've got a very wide base there. Uh, I suspect if I was on normal base, I would just fall over. But if I run, run my leg balancer, look at that. Look at that. That's brilliant, that is. So it's not quite there because I've got one leg jammed up against its absolute minimum and one jammed up against its ab absolute maximum. So I rather suspect, I mean, looking at my, my numbers here, one of them wants to go to minus 1.83 or minus 1.4. So there's actually quite a, you know, it's, it's, it's still slopier than it can actually manage. Oh, no, no sorry, the difference is minus 1.83 and 0 0.2. Uh, but that's then adjusted as close as possible. So the maximum and the minimum are evenly distributed. So there you go. That is my take on the auto um, leg balancing robot. Uh, so it will automatically do its very best to level itself on slopes and uh, thus not fall over. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed watching all that. Um, I can put the code up if anyone really wants it. It's probably horrible. But I put the, I'll put the code up on Dropbox or something and uh, let people have a look at it and put the, a link down in the uh, description. So uh, anyway, thanks very much for watching. I uh, do hope you've enjoyed watching this. Like, subscribe if you do. Uh, come find Neil Lift Dice at Dice.com. We're also available on Facebook and Twitter and so search for us there if you like. And until next time, Reach for the stars and try not to fall over.